Hello there, welcome to your latest 10 day trend. Well, it's finally turned drier across the UK for a few days, but how long will the drier weather last? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the pressure pattern that's allowing that more settled weather we're experiencing at the moment. We've got a meandering jet stream. The jet stream is these bright pink colors on the map. You can see we've got quite a strong area of the jet stream, a jet core we call it. Then it meanders all the way down to the south towards Spain and Portugal, and then pushes up to the north of the UK, pushing past Iceland and then pushes back down into Scandinavia. And that sort of pattern can allow blocking patterns to develop. And we've got this high pressure building across Scandinavia that's developing this more blocked pattern, that, which is bringing the settled weather to us here in the UK throughout this week. However, as we head to Friday and into the weekend, we will start to see a bit of a bit of a change that block that block will start to break down a little bit. This area of the jet stream, this strong jet core will stay to the south. However, it will allow this low pressure or it will drive the development of this low pressure and will push it slowly but surely up towards the UK to the southwest of the UK through the weekend. So there will be a bit of a deterioration for southern areas to more unsettled weather through the weekend. However, for the time being, we've still got that high pressure in charge and that is bringing southeasterly or easterly winds to many areas. So that, uh, that wind direction will continue to drag in a lot of cloud off the North Sea to eastern areas and it will bring a chillier feel to the east coast. But across the west, there'll still be plenty of dry and bright weather, particularly for the likes of Northern Ireland, Northwest Scotland, but also southwestern Wales, southwestern areas of England too through Thursday. However, there is a risk of some showers that could be quite heavy on Thursday. So please keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecast for some more details on that one. And then we continue with that easterly wind through Friday as well. So still quite a lot of cloud around through Friday morning. It will remain quite cloudy through much of the day, particularly for northeastern areas of Scotland. So another quite chilly and gloomy feeling day here. However, across the southeast, there will be a subtle change to more of an easterly wind. That's a drier direction with the wind coming off the continent. So that will allow drier air to bring more sunshine. So it'll probably be a much warmer and brighter day across the southeast. Another fairly dry day across many western areas. However, by the end of the day, you can start to see that the sunshine will likely turn a bit hazier across the southwest. And those are the first signs of that low pressure arriving for the weekend. As the weather front is pushed up to the north, uh, up to the north into the southwest through the course of Saturday and likely push up into parts of Wales as well. Further north, though, we're much further away from that area of low pressure and we've still got this easterly wind that will likely last through much of the weekend. So it's going to stay quite cloudy and cold throughout the weekend. But also we'll start to see the wind strengthen. So it'll be quite a gusty day for many northwestern areas of England and Scotland, as well as parts of Northern Ireland. As that low pressure does arrive into the south through the weekend, it will bring milder air with it. So it will turn a little bit milder than it has been and it won't be quite as cold overnight through the weekend. However, there's a chance of some showery rain, particularly for the likes of Wales and the southwest. Across many parts of the southeast, it should stay dry through much of the day on Saturday. However, there is a chance of this showery rain pushing a little bit further east into southeastern areas. But there's a good chance of the wet weather being a little bit more widespread on Sunday as that area of low pressure is set to push even further north. There is some uncertainty with the exact track, but it's likely to affect many areas of Wales, central and southern England too, bringing outbreaks of rain through much of the day. Further north, it's, like, it's more likely to stay dry. There'll still be showers pushing in on this east, this colder easterly wind across the north and east. But across northwestern areas, Northern Ireland, northwest Scotland, that's where the best chance of any drier and brighter weather is. However, as I said, there's some uncertainty with how far north this area of low pressure will push. And so there's a chance this, this, this wet weather could push into parts of Northern Ireland and western areas of Scotland. But that seems like the less likely situation at, the, at this time. So that area of low pressure will still be with us as we head into the start of next week, but it will slowly retreat to the south and east. And that will allow a more settled spell to develop again, where as we see a coal in the weather pattern, you can see we get this slight dip, which shows higher pressure developing just for a time, but we also have this cold air set in. So it'll likely be quite a cold and settled start to the 
to the new week. So early next week is likely to be dry for many areas, but there is a continued risk of overnight fog and frost as there'll be fairly light winds. That will likely last into at least for the first couple of days of next week, Monday and Tuesday, possibly as late as Wednesday. But as the day progresses, as the week progresses, we'll start to see more rain pushing in from the south and west that could bring some wetter weather to some areas. So we'll see a pressure pattern, a change in our pressure pattern. There is some uncertainty in exactly how the setup will change, but this is the most likely pressure setup from midweek onwards. With low pressure returning from the south and west and high, that Scandinavian high pressure still remaining strong across Scandinavia, bringing its influence to more eastern areas at time. So we get up, it's set up into this more of a battleground between the high and the low pressure. And it's likely that through the middle part of next week onwards, we'll see that low pressure win out, bringing spells of wetter weather in from the south and west. There is a chance, though, that that higher pressure could win out as well. That's a lower chance. It's about a 30% chance at this point, a 70% chance of that lower pressure being more dominant. But that would allow that dry and more settled weather to last a little bit longer into next week. Now, whichever one of those pressure patterns does win out, that would mean that we would have a southerly wind direction across the UK. You can see that very clearly in this pressure map. So this shows you whether we're likely to see a northerly or a southerly wind uh, dominating across the UK or neither. And you can see that we've got reds which denote a southerly wind throughout the next two weeks. And we've also got quite high probabilities of that. Now, usually with these maps, the probabilities tend to decrease with time as we're getting further away. So confidence does slowly start to decrease, which is very natural with our climate models and weather models. So we start with quite high confidence into the, um, into the, the weekend when we see that lower pressure dominating. We see less confidence of that southerly wind as we start to see some uh, westerly and easterly wind directions. And then through the middle part of next week, through much of next week, we've got up to about 90% of our uh, ensemble models showing us a southerly wind direction. That's because if we have either that low dominating or that high dominating, both would give us a southerly wind direction. But the uncertainty comes as to whether it will be that higher pressure or that lower pressure. As I said, it's most likely that we'll see lower pressure dominating, but there is a chance that the higher pressure could win out. This shows that quite nicely as well. This is the pressure trend the probabilistic pressure trend. Reds this time show high pressure and blues show lower pressure dominating. So low pressure is set to return for the weekend. And then we see a most likely change to a settled spell that will likely only last for a couple of days next week. But you can see even when that settled spell arrives, uh, next week has been chopping and changing a little bit in the past few model runs. So it's likely to be uh, in place by Tuesday, but possibly as early as Monday as well. Last into Wednesday most likely. However, the percentages do start to decrease and we start to see more of these blues arrive for the middle of next week. But you can see that those percentages are still quite low, so there is some uncertainty. So it's likely we'll change from unsettled to settled and back again a few times over the next 10 days or so, but most of those will bring, a, bring us a southerly wind and so temperatures will stay about around average or a little bit below overnight if we do see any light winds. That's all for now, but there is some uncertainty with that rain for the weekend. So make sure you keep up to date with the weekend forecast. We'll be fully putting out a full forecast on YouTube tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye bye.